Hey guys, this is Ed, and today we have a 2003 Toyota Sienna. Uh, the problem with this car is when it heats up, it start, the transmission st starts to act funny. You know, it starts to shift on uh, like 4,000 RPMs. Plus, we have the check engine light, and uh, so and the speedometer is not showing correctly. It's just it fluctuates and not not the way it should. So what I did, I, I connected my scan tool. Sorry, blurry. Okay, and uh, so it says one code. I'll say read codes, stored codes, and it's a P0500. Okay, so it's P500. Vehicle speed sensor, A. Okay, so. What we did, we bought, the, we bought the sensor on eBay. I'm not sure if it's gonna work yet, but we will try as always. You know, like 90% of the time they work. So this is the sensor. Looks like this. And uh, so, to do so, first of all we open the hood. Yeah, this is a little beat up car. Got it as a trade in. But it has a lot of potential, it has low miles on it. Okay, what we have here? So, what I have to do is I have to take the battery off. And I believe I'll have to take the. the what is this? The airbox off. This is correct already. And uh, the sensor should be on top of the transmission. Okay, I have to turn the car off now because I want it to cool down because it's going to be hot. And uh, so let's start doing this. Okay, first we have to take the battery off. So to do so, we take the 10 millimeter, unscrew this screw and this screw. This is the first step. Okay, once we have this loose, I just move this to the side. Try not to touch the positive terminal. Now, just take the uh, terminals off the battery. Okay, so we took the... Took the terminal out, I mean the battery out, this came out like this, okay. okay, so I found out that the sensor is right here. See? You see that nut over there? That's the nut we have to get out. This one, the sensor. If you see the connector, you should see the green or gray connector and the nut it should be 12 or 13 millimeter. And uh, that's, that's the sensor actually. So we will have to get it out. So this thing out. Sensor. I'm going to put it here and uh, I'm just going to take the, the long extension. This one, this one. Okay, I need two hands. So what I'm doing, I'm pulling the ratchet from here. I try to film it from here. And you see, you can pull it from here. Well, you just have to 
you solder the sensor is so just put the ratchet on the sensor and unscrew it okay once you unscrew it you have to unplug the connector from it all right so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna unscrew it okay now i have the nut out and uh, the next step is uh, to unplug the connector all right the con uh, connector is just like same like all the electric connectors it's, it's just it's just like this it's a little smaller you have to press the press this side and you just uh, pull it out that's what i'm gonna do right now so i got the connector out and now this is the sensor it just comes out which is you, have, you can just pull it out and uh so i don't know why it's a little dirty this is the color of transmission fluid it's black i mean it's very very dark it's not good but still um, so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna I have to lubricate the old, the new sensor. To do so, you can just use the old sensor, take some lube, just put some on the sensor. So it's a little bit wet. It's gonna go easier in there. So now this is the old one. Just put it here. Take the new one. This I will do this. Okay. Now we just put it back in the uh, in the spot. So this. Okay, once you place the sensor in, take the that nut and screw it back in, just the way you did before, just the way you put it, taking it out. After this, uh, plug the electric connector. And okay, so at this point we have our sensor in. And uh, we have to take the battery, we have to put it in the back. So we take this thing. Okay. Next step is the battery. Once we have the battery in place, we just have to end battery in place, and terminals in place, we have to put that in our terminals. This one, the trickiest one. Uh, you have to take it through the hole, find the frame. It's in the middle. It should be in the middle. There, there's a little hole, and you just hook it on. Hook it on. Hook it on, and then tighten the screw. So when we have everything tied up. We can get our tool, get our tools together. Okay, I'm gonna get this thing together and uh, we'll go for a ride. Okay, so I've got into a car. Lock. So now the chain led is on off because uh, we did actually yeah we did take the battery off. But now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drive it. And uh, previously 
check engine light uh, was coming on after like five, six, seven miles after reset. So I'm gonna take care of this. I mean, I'm gonna drive it and uh, see if the engine light is gonna come on again. Okay, now so I got it to uh, 10, mo 10 more miles on it. I drove it, car drives nice, uh, speedometer works perfect, uh, I didn't notice nothing, no problems. Now I, I opened, uh, I mean I connected the OBD scanner to check if the if there are any codes, pending codes, and uh, it says no pending codes are stored in the module. So I think it's, uh, this thing is fixed. In case if it's gonna come on again, I'll, I'll let you know, you know, but uh, so this is how you change the sensor. Okay, this is how you change the speed sensor. One more thing, what I know, what I wanted to show you is that I don't think it's necessary to take the battery off. I think it's totally doable from the top here. I mean. You could use your hand from here if you take the battery off, but it's not really necessary to do so. I can get my hand in there. I mean, it, it's not that bad. So, if you want, you can just keep on taking the battery out. Just turn the car off, get the sensor out, put the new sensor in, and you'll be all set. Okay, as always, guys, please press like button if this helps. And uh, have a good day. Bye.